Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another recipe showing you guys how to make the world's best buffalo wings. Here's what you're going to do first. Get your frozen wingettes, place them in a bowl of salt water. Once they thaw out, wash and rinse them. The ingredients I'm going to be using are oil, butter. I'm going to be using the butter to make the buffalo sauce. I'm going to be using some hot sauce and ketchup to make the buffalo sauce as well. And I'm only going to be using a small amount of seasonings, just a little bit of salt and pepper. Here are my fresh and so clean, clean wingettes. You're going to pack them dry first before seasoning them. Then you're going to massage the seasonings in. As you can see, mine's are still a little wet, but make sure you pat yours dry. Then, what you're going to do is get a skillet, place the skillet over medium high heat, then add your oil. And wait for your oil to heat up. Once your oil is hot, add the wing dings. Now, I'm going to fry them until they are nice and golden brown. But I'm going to fry them in batches. So I'm going to fry half. Once they're done, I'm going to add the second batch. And there they go. Look at those nice, crispy, golden brown wingettes. What you're going to do once your wingettes are done, is place them on a paper towel plate to drain the excess oil. All right. Now what I'm going to do is make my buffalo sauce. They won't be buffalo wings if I didn't make the buffalo sauce. So I'm going to get a skillet, the same skillet actually, just cleaned it out. I'm going to place it over medium heat and add the butter. Once the butter melts, I'm going to pour in the hot sauce. Now the reason that I add ketchup to the hot sauce is to give the buffalo wings a nice flavor, but also to balance out the taste. I noticed that when I just use hot sauce, it's kind of bitter. So the ketchup adds flavor and a hint of sweetness to balance out the strong bitter taste of the hot sauce. Okay, so I added my ketchup. Now I'm going to add a seasoning that I didn't mention and that's crushed red peppers. Now the crushed red peppers are optional. That's why I didn't mentioned it earlier as an ingredient. I'm going to stir the ketchup and crushed red peppers in really well until everything is well blended. By the way, for the full recipe, check the video description box below. There you will find all of the detailed instructions, the exact measurements, the cooking time, and any additional information you need to know regarding the world's best buffalo wings recipe. Guys, you are going to love these buffalo wings. They are amazing. They are amazing. So now what I'm doing, now that the buffalo sauce is done, is adding my crispy golden brown wingettes and I'm just tossing them to make sure that you know they are fully covered with the buffalo sauce and there go our buffalo wings I'm just going to remove them now and plate them these are best served with blue cheese and celery 
so that's what I am going to play them with and it's what I'm going to eat them with blue cheese and celery I hope you guys enjoy this look I don't hope I know you're going to enjoy this buffalo wings recipe Philly Boy J showing you guys how to make buffalo wings aka hot wings Follow me on social media. You can find me on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. And you can also find me on Instagram. Peace.